The Victorian government is being sued by five Jewish students who claim they endured years of anti-Semitic bullying at a public high school. Sky News can reveal the state government, school principal and two teachers face a federal court hearing in proceedings for breaching the Racial Discrimination Act and negligence. The boys claim they were held at knife point, pushed downstairs, punched and spat at, all while the school looked the other way. Caroline Marcus has this exclusive. A sign boasts of Brighton Secondary College's tradition of excellence. But five former students say that could not have been further from their experience. The Jewish boys are suing the state of Victoria, the former principal and two teachers in the federal court. They allege the public school violated their human rights by creating a prison culture where they were subjected to normalised assaults and batteries with constant anxiety and fear of attack, leaving them dreading school with the sense they weren't allowed to be openly Jewish without unbearable treatment. The boys say they endured often daily abuse between 2013 and 2020, including being told to burn in an oven, called Dirty Jew and Jew Boy and Heil Hitler. Schoolmates picked up dirt and told the grandson of Holocaust survivors, I've found your grandparents. Hundreds of swastikas were allegedly graffitied on school property and often were not removed when reported. The boys say they were punched, spat at, pushed downstairs or had religious skull caps ripped off their heads. They say one was held at knife point in the school toilets in year nine and another lured to a park where he was bashed and robbed by school bullies last year. Attempts to complain to the school were mainly ignored. The boys claim the attacks escalated after Principal Richard Minnack gave speeches referring to Jews as subhuman and evil and his Nazi father as a good man. Vice President of the Rule of Law Institute of Australia, Chris Merritt, is shocked. If half of the accusations are found to be valid, it looks very much like uh, systemic negligence. He says the case would be enormously embarrassing for the Victorian government and highlights why the federal government's religious discrimination bill is necessary. The human rights protection for religi religious liberty in this country is clearly inadequate. Lawyers for the Victorian government and school staff declined to comment. Court documents show that while they accept some acts of intolerance were committed by students, they claim these were small in number, involved only a few students and were not committed by the school or the principal. They say each incident that was brought to the school's attention was investigated and addressed appropriately. The principal denies his speeches had the meaning alleged by the boys. The matter is set down for trial in May. Caroline Marcus, Sky News.